Kiddos, welcome to our math lesson. Make sure you have a paper and pencil nearby or dry erase board supplies to work out some subtraction problems with me. Last time we did addition, and this time we're gonna do subtraction. So let me do one by myself first. Just watch and enjoy. So in subtraction, we know the biggest number goes first or on top. So 57 minus 23. If I had it reversed and I did 23 minus 57, I wouldn't be able to take 57 away from 23 because I wouldn't have enough. So that's why the biggest number goes on top. So 57 minus 23. TO2 is tens and ones. I always start with my ones. So I would do seven minus three is four. And then I'd go to my tens. Five minus two is three. So the answer is 34, which means if I did it opposite way, 34 plus 23 should be 57. That's one way to check it. Let me show you. 23 plus 34, oops, 4 plus 3 is 7, 3 plus 2 is 5. So, yep, it checks out. That's the way to check your math. All right, let's do one together now. Get your utensil ready to write. I want you to write 84 minus 12. Okay, hit pause. And then I'll give you the answer when you hit play. All right, so let's see if you got your answer right. Tens and ones. We start with our ones. Four minus two is two. And eight minus one is seven. So the answer is 72. So 72 plus 12 equals four. And look, I can see that. Two plus two equals four. Seven plus one equals eight. So 84 minus 12 is 72. Let's do another one. Get your pencil ready. Here we go. I want you to write 89 minus 71. Hit pause and then play when you're ready. Okay, here is the answer. Let's see if you got it right. 9 minus 1 is 8 and 8 minus 7 is 1. So the answer is 18. Very good. Let's do two more. Okay, I would like you to do 95 minus 22. Hit pause, figure it out for yourself, and then play when you're ready. Okay, five minus two equals three, and nine minus two equals seven. So 95 minus 22 equals 73. All right, our last one, let's do a challenge. Actually, let me do one by myself of the challenge and then we'll do one together. So I'm gonna do 82 minus 38. Okay, we start with our ones. Now, some of you might go, okay, two minus eight equals six. No, it doesn't. That's eight minus two. It doesn't say that. It says two minus eight. Everyone hold up their two fingers. Can you take eight fingers away from that? No, you don't have enough. So remember, we have to borrow from the tens column. So I'm gonna cross out my eight, which means 80, and I'm gonna borrow a 10. So now I only have seven tens. Now I have only 70 here. And I put my 10, there's my tower of 10, right there in front of the two. So now 10 plus two, I have 12. So 12 minus eight equals four. And then seven, take away three. I can do that because I have enough, is four. So 82 minus 38 equals 44. Okay, that was a tricky one. Let's do one of those together. So get your pencil ready. I want you to write 94 minus 56. Okay, let's do it together. So we start at the ones. Four minus six. You can't do that. You can't take away six from four. 
So what are you going to do? Show me that you could borrow. So borrow one from the tens. Did you cross that out? Good. And now if I'm taking one away, I have only eight tens left. And where are you gonna put that 10 that you borrowed? Put it right there. Now, some teachers might teach you a different way. They might say, okay, cross out that four and put a 14 there, and that's okay too. I just like putting my one there because it's easy for me. So now what's 14 minus six, write your answer. Should have put eight. Let's go to our towers of 10. Eight tens, which is 80, minus five tens, which is 50. Eight minus five is, write your answer. You should have got three. So 94 minus 56 equals 38. So I'm gonna check it really quick. I'm gonna do 38 plus 56. Let's see if that gets me 94. Eight plus six is 14. Carry my 10. I like to circle it so don't forget to add it. And then one plus three is four, and four plus five is nine. So 94, 94, it checks out. Thanks for participating with me.